Hello, this is Bill Bovenu from BSC Solutions Group. Today I want to demonstrate how to use OneDrive to integrate and synchronize data from an Office 365 subscription for business. So we're going to start off by logging into the Office 365 portal. There's a number of different sites that Microsoft has. The easiest one for me to remember is Office365.com. Sign in here. Now, this is intended for users of Office 365 that have a, an enterprise or mid-sized business plan. These plans uh, include the, uh, the full uh, uh, Office suite uh, that you can be uh, downloaded to your, to your PC or your device. And as part of that download and install, uh, OneDrive is a component that gets installed automatically. To finish logging in here to Office 365, if I click on the OneDrive tab, I will see one folder that exists by default called Shared with Everyone. Okay, I can create additional folders here uh, for myself that won't be shared with other people. And I can also choose to synchronize this to my local PC or my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sync. And then I'm going to click on the Sync Now button with the assumption that I already have OneDrive for Business installed. I get a pop-up warning me that uh, I'm going to install a, a, an applet on my computer. I will allow that. It's asking me to authenticate again. go ahead and sign in. It's telling me that it's going to synchronize my uh, SharePoint blog site from Microsoft's Office 365 and it will save it under C colon users bill. I can change that directory if, I, if there's another folder I would prefer that it used to synchronize but I'll, I'll just leave it at the default for now. I'll click sync now. Of course there's not much there. I think it's just a, an empty folder and so now we can see that I should have a directory called users bill OneDrive for business. Click on show my files it's going to open up Windows Explorer and you can see here again we have a shortcut of Bill Bovenu OneDrive for business and I have a folder called shared with everyone. Underneath this I have a handful of documents they have a green check mark meaning that they have uh, replicated and synchronized from the, um, from the, uh, the OneDrive uh, for business. If we take a look here on the left side of my computer you can see that I already had OneDrive installed not to be confused with OneDrive for business so this OneDrive is a standalone uh, share that I'm using up on uh, up on the cloud. So now though I have under my favorites a new folder here called OneDrive for Business and again we can see we've got a subfolder here called shared with everyone so I can create a new folder here and we will just give it uh, the usual name uh, I'll just call it not shared okay and then we can jump into that we see there's nothing in it uh, I can uh, it's got a green check mark already which would indicate that it's synchronized up to Office 365 I could take one of these documents, Native Trees of Ontario. I'll do a Control C to copy that, and then I'll go back to Not Shared and paste it in here. So this document now will synchronize up shortly. There should be a little cloud running here in your taskbar that tells you whether it, you know it'll keep track of whether you're synchronized to the cloud. Actually, that's my OneDrive, my personal OneDrive. This is my OneDrive for business, and again we can see now that there is a green check mark. If I go back to my browser and I click on OneDrive, I'm going to refresh this screen. So I'll click on OneDrive and there's the new folder that I created called Not Shared. If I drill down into that, there's my Native Trees of Ontario. So, you know, you can you can work locally on your PC or your iPad and modify documents, create documents, um, delete documents, and uh, as long as you update them and save them into that 
into the OneDrive for Business folder, they will automatically synchronize up to the cloud. Then you would be able to go and retrieve these documents from another device, another computer, another location, doesn't matter, as long as you can log into Office 365, they'll be available to you. Thanks for, uh, for listening today.